Do you want to be the sort of player who manages to place in every event they can? Well, now that solo cash cups are back, being a good W keyer and in-game fighter is crucial to succeeding in Fortnite competitive. What's up, Fortnite fam? I'm Cody, and today we're going to teach you how to frag out with the best tips and tricks to help you W key like a pro. A lot of players think that for some reason, they can just show up at a tournament and go in without any practice at all. They think that somehow they'll just end up making money like the biggest pros on the planet. Well, that's not exactly how the world of Fortnite works. Because to succeed in Fortnite competitive, you have to be grinding out every single day. Your mechanics, your aim, your game sense, everything needs to be practiced so you can achieve your maximum potential in tournaments like the FNCS and the Cash Cups. The two most important things that a W keyer will have to have under their belt is pinpoint accurate aim and incredible building mechanics. In other words, you need to be able to play very quick with the ability to change your play style dependent on the scenario that you find yourself in, all while managing to out aim your opponent to blast them away before they can land their shots on you. Don't get caught up in somebody's crosshairs. Be the beast that you were born to be, okay? I believe in you guys. Head over to ProGuides.com. We've got tons of amazing coaches and classing from pro players themselves who are always around to give you amazing coaching. Check them out guys, ProGuides.com. Over the course of the past season, we've all learned that peace control has become incredibly important since you need to finish fights quickly to make sure you're ready for any third party interference that might suddenly show up through sand tunneling or the teleporting zero point crystals. A great way to do this is through in-game creative maps that have been designed specifically to help you practice. Raider 464's Peace Control map and the Skavok in-game aim trainer are two great examples. These two maps are some of the most advanced and most convenient maps that will allow you to practice most efficiently. Practicing this way for at least an hour before going into any games every day is a great way to warm up and it's something that every single pro player will be doing before going into an arena game. On the subject of arena, playing in that mode is definitely the best way you can improve your in-game fighting skills and your game sense. While playing arena, you should always try to take fights if you're trying to become a W key master. The more you play, the more you learn. And the more you fight, the better you'll become at fighting. Try to take the concepts you learn while training in creative and apply them in actual arena games. And eventually, you'll feel yourself start to improve. One of the things that a lot of players fail to do is realize that they're making mistakes all the time. This is an issue that everyone has to face up to eventually, unless you're winning all the tournaments that you enter, you're not gonna be the best player in the world and you definitely are making mistakes every single time you play the game. I get it, it's tough to admit that you're doing something wrong, but if you want to improve, that's exactly what you're going to have to do. A great way to figure out what you're doing wrong is to compare your gameplay to a pro that is playing in a similar style to you. VOD reviewing is a great tool that's available to everyone who plays Fortnite. All you have to do is load a reply, sit down with a notepad and a snack, and then watch through the games that you've played. Make sure you note down everything you feel you failed at while playing, and then go and see what a pro player would do. Many pros who play aggressively, like Vadil for example, win by applying a ton of pressure, constantly mixing things up, and staying one step ahead of their enemy in a fight. Essentially, managing to get into their opponent's heads without even talking to them. By noting down the key elements of your play style, and then figuring out where someone like him does it better, you'll be able to take those aggressive, high pressure moments and apply them to your own play style. It's important to note, however, that VOD reviewing isn't all about noticing your mistakes and making you feel terrible about how you've been playing. It's equally important that you pay close attention to all of the things that you do well at, just as much as it is the things that you do bad. That way, you'll have a full overview of everything you're capable of and everything you actually need to improve on. Okay, real quick, Fortnite fam, I have a question for you. Who do you think is the best W keyer in Fortnite? Let us know in the comments below. 
finding a drop spot that you like and then utilizing that spot to its maximum capability is essential when you want to become a good W key style player, especially if you want to equip yourself with the best loot possible. The season five map is littered with new ways to obtain incredibly powerful loot. For example, why not drop somewhere like Weeping Woods, acquire a ton of gold bars, and then rock up to Hunter's Haven to secure yourself a Storm Scout Sniper. Even if you don't want to buy one of the exclusive weapons, there are plenty of NPCs around the map that offer weapon upgrades. So knowing where those NPCs can spawn will help you a ton in tournaments by letting you get your rarities up as quick as possible no matter what rarity the weapons you managed to loot were. Of course, learning and utilizing your drop spot isn't all about using the NPCs. First of all, you need to choose your drop spot. If you're having trouble, you can check out the most recent mid-season drop spot guide we posted recently. Once you have a drop spot in mind though, you need to carefully scout out every inch of the location, making sure you know all of the potential chest spawns and easy locations that you can farm materials. Then, figure out what your best possible rotations are. Without all of this information, you're never going to figure figure out how to use your drop spot properly. The drop spot you choose is essentially going to be your territory when it comes to a tournament game. You should drop there every single game that you play. If anyone strays into your territory at the start of the game, then you will know exactly where everything is and exactly the best way to take them out. Now, I know what you're thinking. If you want to be a W key player, the type of player who is well known for going into any fight that they see as soon as they see it, then where does playing patiently come into the mix? Well, playing as an aggressive W keyer does not mean that you should be playing without your brain at all. To be an effective W keyer, you need to stay aware of your surroundings to be able to set yourself up for success against any other players that you come across. It's easy to run into a fight without any thought, but chances are you're going to end up getting eliminated yourself. There are a few key things that you need to think about first. Are you in a place that's likely to be third partied? Is the player you're looking at scouting around or are they looting and farming? You can learn a lot by taking a moment to watch what your opponent is doing first and then you can launch your assault. You shouldn't only be patient when you actually are playing the game either. You should also be patient after you've been eliminated. You can't let a bad 10 seconds ruin your entire tournament. So just stay patient, boot up into the next game, and don't let a bad mindset take over. It only takes one solid pop off to turn the tides of a tournament around. In Cash Cups and the FNCS, most players will focus on getting the win. And that means they will do things that make you mad. Some of them will be storm camping. Others will be constantly running away to play you for placement points. As a W keyer, you have to stay on top of your game. Be patient, wait for your opponents to make a mistake, and then take advantage for the win. Okay, Fortnite fam, let's recap. To be the best W keyer that you can be, you're going to need practice. You can't expect to walk into a tournament or even arena and be the best in the room. That's just not how Fortnite or any competitive game works. You also need to review your VODs so that you can learn from your mistakes by comparing your gameplay to another W key style player so you know exactly what you're doing wrong and how to improve on it. You're going to need to pick a drop spot and learn it absolutely and completely so that you know the ins and outs of the spot when it comes to using it in a tournament. It'll give you a real competitive edge, trust us. Last, but certainly not least, you need to learn to balance your W key style with a healthy side dish of patience. Anyone can run into fight spraying, but it's only the W keyers who take a long look at their surroundings and what enemies are doing who actually walk away with that victory royale. If you listen to all these tips and you make sure to put in the work, you're going to be dropping 20 bombs with ease. Until next time, good luck out there, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.